Hi, I'm June Negoro. I practice at Thompson Chinese Medicine at Paragon Medical Center. Hi, I'm Zhou Jing. I practice at Thompson Chinese Medicine at Paragon Medical Center. Hi, I'm Ho Ching Yi. I practice at Thompson Chinese Medicine, Waterway Point. The myth is that drinking plain water during confinement will increase water retention in the body and cool the body too much. But in fact, there's no harm in drinking plain water. Mothers need to stay hydrated, especially if they're breastfeeding, and they're encouraged to drink about 7 to 8 glasses of warm water throughout the day. Bathing in the past was usually with cold water, which was collected from the well or the rainwater, which meant higher risk of contamination. However, in the modern context, we are lucky to have clean water and water heaters, so it's okay to shower. Maintaining a good personal hygiene after giving birth is an absolute must because keeping the wound clean and dry will promote wound healing and prevent infection. So when you are taking a shower, remember to take short warm showers or use the herbal bath to wash. And when you wash your hair, make sure to dry thoroughly with a hair dryer and avoid standing under the aircon or the fan. This myth originated from the concept that the blood loss involved in child labour also weakens the eye because eye health and blood health are both related to the liver system according to Chinese medicine. But in fact, crying can be a way of relieving stress and dealing with the emotions that come with being a new mom. About 75% of the new moms will experience postnatal blues or baby blues which is a natural result of hormone fluctuation. So forcing yourself to suppress your feelings and holding in the tears isn't healthy. Please let yourself cry a little if you need to. It will release feel-good chemicals in your body to help you feel calmer. However, if your mood is constantly low for more than a month, don't be afraid to seek help. You can take Sun Hua Tang, which is a herbal soup to improve blood circulation, prevent retention of placental fragments within the uterus and help the uterus to contract. However, it is not suitable for mothers who underwent caesarean section or experience excessive bleeding. They should delay taking the Sun Hua Tang. After giving birth, it's important to load up the digestive system with nutritional goodness. We recommend taking nourishing and warming ingredients such as old ginger, black vinegar, sesame oil, scallions or spring onions. It is also important to consume light and easily digestible food in the first week and then move on to the heavier foods such as the pig trotters in black vinegar. This way, your digestive system can work without much burden and absorb the nutrients much more effectively. You can take herbs such as dang gui, huang qi and longan red date tea to boost your qi and blood. However, it also depends on your body constitution. If you have a heaty body constitution, you might want to go easy on it as it might overheat the body and cause issues such as sore throat, acne and constipation. It is recommended to avoid strenuous exercise as overexertion may deplete the body's tea after delivery. However, low impact exercise once mothers are ready are great for improving blood circulation and relieving stress. Yep, taking short showers using warm water and better yet, use herbal baths to prevent the wind and dampness from entering the body. Using a fan or the aircon is acceptable, but avoid letting the wind blow onto the mother directly. Herbs such as fenugreek, fennel, milk thistle, nettle herbs are great for promoting lactation. Fish and papaya soup can do the job too. Drinking lots of fluids will help to replenish the qi and blood supply. Chinese medicine or acupuncture can alleviate the blocked qi, blood and milk in the breast. It is recommended to complete the full 30 days of confinement as proper confinement care helps to restore qi, replenish blood loss, strengthen the mother's body's constitution and more. It is important to take confinement seriously for recuperation and healing. Our Thompson Chinese Medicine's personalized confinement herbal care program tailors to the mother's unique body constitution to help with recovery after delivery. So it comprises of three stages. Stage 1 is uterus recovery, stage 2 is digestive wellness and breastfeeding, and stage 3 is vitality booster. 
Yes, you can take one serving of chicken essence per day from the second week. However, for bird's nest, start only after the water retention subsides and it is not recommended if you have a weak digestive system. Want to learn about how to speed up your postpartum recovery? Visit the link below to find out more or to schedule a consultation with us.